Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? This is Sly. I'm back with you guys again. I'm very excited. I'm always excited because we're always talking about new tech. Now, um, I've been looking at LED lights, some way to just kind of spruce up the office a little bit more, make it stand out, and just really get my hands on some more cool tech and have some fun with it. So I've been looking, and I wanted to find something that was, one, that was affordable, but two, that was reliable. And uh, what we came up with, or what I came up with, is the insignia multicolored LED tape lights. So that's what we're actually going to be looking at today. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, let you see what's in, install it, and then let you get a quick brief look at how this desk right here is going to look with these LED lights, LED lights added. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. Alright, and here we are. We got the box in front of us. Let's go ahead and just look at it. Um, as you can see right here, this is the Insignia Multicolored LED Tape. Um, some of the things that you'll see, features, is going to be actually 16 feet of actual tape. It's going to be multicolored LED. It's going to be AC powered, so you're going to plug this in. And it's going to have an RF remote, so there's no need to actually point the remote towards the LED lights themselves. Okay. On this side right here, what we see is there's some information on a one-year limited warranty. So, it talks about that. You look at the other side right here, it's going to be blank. There's going to be nothing of importance on the top of the box. And then if you look at the bottom right there, there's some information for California residents. Uh, a phone number and actual address or web address of the company. And then you see a barcode down there. And then if we turn to the back right here, you see some more information. So it talks more about the features of the lights, um, setting them up. And it looks like it's going to be in English and also Spanish. So right here, we simply just pull out the tab, slide open the box. And there's the box right there. There's nothing of importance. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. So as you can see, you have 16 feet of LED lights right here. And this looks like the port that the charger goes into. We'll take that and we'll move that over here to the side. And then in front of us, we have some instructions. Okay, set those to the side. And then this puzzle, we have actually the charging brick right here. Charging cable, charging brick. So we have that. We have the remote control itself. And I don't know what this is, maybe some kind of adapter. Um, looks like some kind of adapter. Yep, we're gonna plug in here, and then that plugs right into the lights. So, and then the rest of this, oh, and there's some sticky stuff there. Okay, so we'll take this and we'll slide that to the side. So, once again, just looking at the contents of the box, you actually have your charging port right here. You have some additional sticky stuff, remote, directions, and the lights themselves. The lights is on a rail, and the way that it looks is that you just take, um, peel off this stick pad, stick it to whatever surface that you want, plug this into, line those in there, and then you plug that into the wall. And um, that's all you need. So let me go ahead and throw it out in the wall and see how that looks. Okay, so I just plugged up the LED lights. I took the remote control out of the package. And let's go ahead and give it a test. So turn it on. And as you can see right there, we got some things going. So if you want solid blue, there's blue right there. There's green. And there's a button for red. Which does not seem like it's working. Let's see what we got here. There we go, red. And it looks like with the buttons you have to push it exactly in the middle. And you can see that it's changing. Different colors of blue. It's like purple. Okay, and then if you want just straight up blue, green, or red. Okay, and then there's some pre oh and there's white. So if you want to do white, then there's white right there. If you want to do some preset settings, here's flash. 
If you want to do strobe, simply push the strobe button. Fade. And last but not least, smooth. And if you want to go back to a particular color, you just push that color on the remote and to turn it off, simply push off. So, so far I'm pretty impressed. We're going to go ahead and set this bad boy up. The biggest issue for me right now is just installing it, is that um, I have a lot of cords running from point A to point B that I have zip tied or tied up there and making sure that this is actually able to fit inside of whatever area of cords that I have. So um, I'm going to go ahead and figure this out and I'll let you know how it turns out. So there we go, we have the LED right there. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it on little by little. And as I go along, I'm just actually pulling back the um, protective strip and then slightly pushing down to get the LED to adhere to the glass table or the glass desk. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is fun. So I'm just doing the last little part right here on the table. So I have two straight pieces of desk and then I have a curved piece in the middle. The curved piece is the part that's the most interesting. Um, I don't want to cut it because I don't have another way to connect it. So I'm just kind of bunching it up a little bit to make it curve. And I'm hoping that long term it doesn't cause it to fall. Um, so that's a slight concern of mine. So I'm adding the last little bit to the last part of the desk. Probably got about another four feet to add. Um, as you can see, it got a lot of wires down here. I got poor wire management. Most of the time you can't even see that or tell that. But I'm going to add this last little strip on here. We're going to turn it on and see how it looks. All right, YouTube fam, so um, I'm all finished up. I was able to install the LED light strip. Um, it was pretty simple and straightforward. Didn't need to look at the directions, um, but they are there in a the box. Anybody, no matter what your level of experience with, um, can do it. So all you have to simply do is just measure out where you want to go, pull off the strip, slide it on to the surface. Once it's done, go back over it one more time to make sure that it's tight and then go ahead and plug it up and as you can see we got the strips going on right there um, all in all I can say that I am very pleased with the product I was looking for something that was um, inexpensive but yet quality and that's when I came across Insignia's uh, multi-color LED light strip and I was a little bit concerned with the price as there are other brands that cost twice as much um, I do think some of the things that you lose are some of the features, but if you're looking for something that works and it's dependable, this is it. My only complaint, or if I had any other complaints, my major complaint, the one thing that I would say that you might want to think about is that it's with this controller right here. And I'm going to go ahead and move that a little bit forward so you can see it. Um, there's a lot of buttons here. Um, everything is done through this. You don't have to point it at it. Um, strip, but the main issue is is that there's different buttons for each color and What you have to do is you have to make sure that you push firmly and push directly in the middle to change the color And I've had several times where I pushed it and may not have pushed it firm enough or pushed it right in the middle and it doesn't change the color because that connection there other than that, everything else on here works. Every color on here has worked. Um, the different settings, such as flash or fade, they work very well. And as you can see that going on in the background. 
Uh, the only other thing that I noticed that didn't really work on here was on the top here, and I don't know if you guys can see it, hopefully this zooms in, there's supposed to be two buttons to increase the brightness and decrease the brightness of the LED strip. And to the best of my knowledge, I've tried it, I can't tell where that works. But outside of that, even though I have those things that are drawbacks, I would definitely say that this is a good solid product. Definitely use, have it around the house, office, wherever you want to add it, and just really enjoy it. Um, with the cheaper price, you are losing some of the functionality and some of the other benefits that some of the uh, more expensive LED lights have. But this one will work and it works well. Well, my name is Sly. This is my channel, Talk Tech. I really appreciate everybody coming by and checking me out. Please make sure that you subscribe and the subscribe little, that's me right there. Push me and you'll subscribe to the channel. Um, the notification, hit the bell. You'll be part of the notification squad. And then check out some of the other videos that I have. So we'll do a little disco music going out. That's my disco techno music. I don't know. Don't ask me. I never heard techno or disco music sound like that. But hey, my name is Sly. This has been another episode of Talk Tech. Make sure that you come back for the next one. And I appreciate you. Peace.